Many primitive societies have chiefdoms, which are the embryonic stage of the state. But the chiefdom has something that resists state formation, namely the principle of reciprocity. This system keeps someone from, from remaining a chieftain forever. This implies that the king or the state cannot emerge from within a single community. Marx stressed, stressed that commodity exchange arose only between distinct communities. Likewise, it should also be noted that the state can only emerge between distinct communities. The formation of, of the state cannot be seen as an internal development of the community. The state appeared when one community ruled over other communities. This does not mean that all states were formed by conquest. If one state exists, other adjacent communities have to become states in order to protect themselves from subjugation. It is in this sense that I say that states exist essentially against other states. This is why uh, viewing the state from within the community or the society has an unavoidable blind spot. Uh, for instance, it is commonly believed that the rise of productivity in, in the agrarian community and gender class division leading to the formation of the state. This is one typical view of seeing the state from the standpoint of a single community. But the rise of productivity never happens within the community. Even if there were a surplus, it, it would not lead to class division uh, because any surplus would be readily dissipated, as George Bataille remarked. The rise of productivity or surplus labor uh, in the community is realized by coercion of its ruler, the state. The, the state is a community w which imposes tribute servi and service on the other communities it, do it dominates. Ac accordingly, the state should be observed from two sides, the ruling community and the ruled community. This is typical of the Asiatic social formation. The Asiatic social formation is usually considered as an early and primitive stage of history. But this view is varied only when we focus on the rural community. The characteristics of the Asiatic social formation should be seen on the level of ruling community, in which the principles of community or principle of reciprocity was denied and replaced by the, the centralized government with a bureaucracy and a standing army. Meanwhile, by contrast, in the rural agrarian, agrarian communities, the, the principle of community stayed un, un, intact. That is why we fail to recognize the nature of the Asiatic social formation if we focus on the so-called the mode of production. However, such centralization, centralization was not readily realized. Uh, let us think of the example of the Asiatic states such as Mesopotamia, Egypt, Indus, and China. They all started with city states. Centralization was achieved only through the incessant struggle among these small cities, city states. This process is clearly shown in Chinese history up until the first Chinese emperor of uh, Shi Huan Qi emerged. In such a process of centralization, the principles of reciprocity which remained in the city states were wiped out. Consequently, the despotic state emerged with it, its bureaucrats and standing army. This is what Weber, Max Weber called the uh, patrimonial bureaucratic state. These states brought the technology to control nature, for example, in large-scale irrigation, 
which remarkably advanced agricultural production. What is no less significant is that they also brought the technology to uh, <coughs> control, technology to control people, such as bureaucracy, letters, media, media, religion, etc. The Asiatic states are not elementally as states. Uh, <coughs> in Europe, it was not until the period of absolute, absolute monarchy that the patrimonial bureaucratic states were shaped, uh, which emerged out of the feudal decentralized state by suppressing the multiple buying feudal laws. Thus, the Asiatic state is not embryonic, but essentially complete as a state. In the Asiatic social formation, the mode of exchange B is prevalent. Uh, this is a form which usurps the agrarian, uh, agrarian communities by way of tribute and compulsory service. Uh, having said th this, the Asiatic social formation contains other modes B and C as well. For instance, trade and merchant capital were highly developed there. But nevertheless, trade and the city were subordinate to the state. Likewise, the agrarian community had autonomy and maintained the principle of reciprocity, while at the same time being subordinate to the state. The, the Greek Roman social formation also includes the mode B as a necessary factor. In fact, it was based upon the slavery. However, unlike Asiatic society, in Greek police, uh, democracy existed among the rural communities, namely male citizens. This is not because the Greek society was highly civilized, but because they largely retained the vestige of tribal community. In other words, they retain the principle of, of reciprocity, which resists centralized power. In the primitive societies, decisions were made by the assembly or council. Now, such was the case with Greek police. Incident, incidentally, uh, anthropologist David Graeber, uh, he, he did a field, field research, uh, field work at, uh, in the Madagascar. He, he wrote, quote, after ha having lived in Madagascar for two years, I was startled. Uh, first time I at started attending the meetings of a direct action network in New York by how familiar it all seemed. The main difference was that uh, Dan, uh, direct action New York uh, network, process was so much formalized and explicit. It's a pro, uh, quote from a fragment, fragment of an anarchist anthropology. Uh, 